<laughs> Welcome, boys and girls, to another episode of Chats with Vlad. <laughs> Episode 86, Cagnium and Lacey. <laughs> and as Doom and Gloom alluded to earlier, we will be talking about heavy metal today, boys and girls. Heavy metals and herbs. <laughs> uh, you're all excited about that band with Leroy? Yeah. Yeah, that glam folk band. Yeah, people aren't really ready, were they, for the mixture of glam, rock and folk music? No, nobody's ready for that mixture. <laughs> Not that kind of heavy metal and herbs. This heavy metal and herbs. There's a new, rather serious warning about these spices that are in your food as well as in your pantry. According to an analysis that was conducted by Consumer Reports, it found that many of the spices that very likely are in your cupboard right now contain high levels of dangerous heavy metals, including arsenic, cadmium, and lead. This report investigated many different types of spices, including cumin, chili powder, oregano, basil, ginger, paprika, turmeric, black pepper, and so on and so forth. And as you can see on your screen, what they did was that they took five to 10 brands of each spice and tested them for different heavy metal contaminants. And after running those tests, they gave each brand a ranking, either a green check mark indicating that it's safe, or the brand got one, two, or three red circles, indicating that there's either a mild or serious reason to be concerned. And after running their full analysis on the 126 different products, which range from national brands down to private label store brands, they found that about a third of all the samples contain either concerning or even dangerous levels of heavy metals. A third of the brands that are currently on the supermarket store shelves. <laughs> now you see, boys and girls, the reason why Uncle Vlad is bringing this up today is because a lot of our foods have these heavy metals in it. And I don't know if you're aware of this, boys and girls, but once you get these heavy metals in your body, they're almost impossible to get rid of. And they say that a lot of human beings are consuming enough lead in one day to kill them. One third, one third of the herbs we use have cadmium, mercury, Oh, lead and arsenic. Those things have no place in our food, boys and girls. In an earlier episode of Chats with Vlad, a while back, I talked about how Gerber got caught putting these same heavy metals in the baby foods, rice-related foods and other starchy foods, packaging, other things. They say it's making our children autistic. They say it's making them diabetic, giving them heart complications. And for the adults, it's not any better. Hair loss, memory loss, 
cognition problems. The list goes on. Now, what I want you to think about today, boys and girls, is why are these in our food? No laugh on that one. I want you to think about it. It just sounds like another way the elites are trying to kill off the common people. <laughs> Indeed. I wanted to say hello to bad company <laughs> and anyone in my clan that may uh, be watching Uncle Vlad. <laughs> uh, I do love bad company. The people are so real. <laughs> Indeed, yes they are. Real people with real hopes, real dreams, and real problems. This week, a favorite of mine, a gentleman called Sparks, left. No goodbye, no word. Just hasta la bye-bye. Well, if you happen to be watching Uncle Vlad Sparks, Sparks, please come home. Uncle Vlad misses you. <laughs> Indeed. Anyway, back to bad company. Most of the people there are beloved by me, but there's one or two people that have been making Uncle Vlad angry, disrespecting members of our clan, saying things that are really just gross. They're not even funny. He thinks he's funny, but you're not funny. <laughs> uh, and here's the funny thing people like the clan member that I'm talking about they think because they're on a computer in a little safe space that nobody can touch them <laughs> well let me tell you something boys and girls Uncle Vlad knows how to reach out and touch someone. <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> ah, foolish mortals indeed. <laughs> Allow Uncle Vlad to pontificate upon the seriousness of this subject. <laughs> You see, boys and girls, Jim Morrison once said that there are things known and there are things unknown. <laughs> and in between are the doors. <laughs> So many things we do not know, so many things we do not understand. <laughs> Who is he? Let me ask you this. <laughs>
What do you know about what's real and what's not? <laughs> you see, just because you think somebody can't touch you in your safe space doesn't mean there's not alternative ways and motives. <laughs> they say where there's a will, there's a way. <laughs> Indeed. After all, boys and girls, a hundred years ago, and this would have been considered magic. <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> ah, indeed. It's time for funny haha, -ha, boys and girls. <laughs> but Uncle Vlad has something special. There's a joke he's been dying to tell his clan, <laughs> Diablo. But it's just too long to put in text form. And. It's better to get a visual. <laughs> so, there was once this Irish boy called Danny O'Shea. <laughs> and he was 100% Irish, boys and girls. But he'd never been to Ireland. <laughs> now, he had a grandmother in Ireland, 100% Irish. <laughs> Indeed. And for his graduation gift, she sent him an airplane ticket so he could come see the Green Isle for himself. <laughs> Danny got off the plane, got on the taxi, and he went to Grandma's. And when he was there, they talked, they hugged. He ate Irish stew, it was wonderful. But after a while, kicking it with Grandma got a little bit stale, and he wanted to see what the town was like. So Danny picked up his wallet and he went into town. <laughs> when he was in town, he came to a pub, a real genuine Irish pub. So of course, Danny had to go in. <laughs> and when he went in there, he ordered a beer and they didn't give him a little glass of beer. They gave him a huge pint of beer. <laughs> and after about his third pint, well, Danny had to take a leak. <laughs> Indeed. So Danny went to the bathroom and he whipped it out and started releasing. <laughs> His stream of pee was so strong from all that strong Irish alcohol. Uh, he looked over to his left and who should be there? But a midget on a stool. But this midget had a two foot long dick. <laughs> Indeed, Danny, in surprise, was. God damn! How'd your dick get so big? <laughs> the little fellow looked over at him and he said, Hi, Lattie, I'm a leprechaun. I wished it upon myself. <laughs> And Danny was like, well, can you wish it upon me? <laughs> the leprechaun said, ah, lad, you'd have to bend over. You'd have to bend over. Danny was like, ah, screw that. And so he went back to peeing and he looked over at his own penis and it was four inches erect. Not very thrilling. He looked over at the leprechaun and the leprechaun's dick was so big that it had waves in it. <laughs> Indeed. So Danny said, oh, okay, go ahead. So the leprechaun jumped down from his stool, pulled it over behind Danny and got up behind him and he started putting it in. <laughs> Danny was like, ah. 
The leprechaun was like, only the tip, laddie. Only the tip. <laughs> then Danny was like, ah. And the leprechaun was like, halfway there now, laddie. Halfway there. And Danny was like, oh. And the leprechaun asked him, Danny, tell me something. And Danny was like, oh, what? He's like, how old are you, Danny? Danny was like, oh, I just turned 18. And the leprechaun said, Hi, laddie, you're 18 years old and you still be believing in leprechauns? <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> once they put me in an itty bitty little rubber room I died in that little rubber room I died on the hard cold floor there are rats on that floor boys and girls I don't like rats rats make me crazy <laughs> well boys and girls we've had our fun and I've given you much to think about today so the dawn grows close and Uncle Vlad must slumber. <laughs> but, in the meantime, boys and girls, contemplate this. How much heavy metal is in the food you've already eaten? How much is in the food of your children that they've already eaten? And how much more of that garbage are you going to put in your body? <laughs> Think about it!